a very stormy night in the triangle uh, over the evening there. Look at that lightning. That's something else. Peter Rogers, Lance Blocker captured that lightning in his video of the storm last night. It lit up the sky with those lightning strikes. Uh, it certainly made Cobalt and I go back inside. We were going out through the yeah. garage to empty the trash, going on a walk, and all he had to do was see that. And my dog, like, nope, too. My too? dog, too. She saw it, and she was like, mm -mm, no, thank you. Not, Not going it. out there. Might have saved our lives. It was a little scary. Yeah, yeah. Well, with all this heat during the day, we're used to getting some relief during the nighttime hours. That's right. But as meteorologist Rachel Dunsing explains, that's just not happening. We know it's been hot during the day, but have you noticed it's also been much warmer at night as well? So including Thursday morning, eight of the past 11 days have had temperatures above 70 degrees in the morning. And that's even with a few of those morning temperatures pushing 80 degrees. But it's not just tied to this hot July. Since 1970, morning temperatures have risen on average by more than four degrees. These warmer nights, especially during the summer, impact low and fixed income communities who don't have access to or can't afford to run their AC the most because most cooling centers are not open overnight. Now, during the 1970s, the triangle typically only had one time per year where an extremely hot day was followed up by a very warm night. But since 2014, on average, we now have eight times per year where our very hot afternoons ended with very warm nights. Now, we need temperatures to cool off overnight because it helps our bodies recover from the hot weather. If we can't cool off, it increases risk of heat illness. Plus, you're probably not going to sleep as well when it's very hot. It also increases energy demand, meaning you're probably going to pay more for your energy bill. We talk about it a lot, but as our temperatures continue to rise, we need to do our best to make sure you and your neighbors are staying safe in the heat. I'm meteorologist Rachel Dunzing.